Today is very important. This is a public service announcement about aphids in the springtime. So here at the nursery, we're in Northern California, about an hour above San Francisco in a Mediterranean climate. So spring has really hit us hard already, which means all of the pitchers are coming up. All of the temperate plants are growing. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. But that means that the aphids are soon coming for these pitchers. And so where you're growing, maybe your plants aren't necessarily coming up yet, but when they do, those temperate plants are what the aphids want because they love this fresh, tender, tender growth. So I've got a couple of different pitchers here you can see. They love these pitchers. They love to eat these. They also really like um, the temperate pinguicula. They'll go for those. And of course, a lovely fly trap trap. They love a fresh spring growth. There's nothing they love more. And so the aphids, when they do attack, you'll know because you'll see your growth is suddenly really weirdly deformed, pinched, hunched over, strange looking. And that's the sign the aphids have been there. Sometimes you can't even see them because they're very small. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller. There's so many different species. You will sometimes see also these little white skins they leave behind, that's often a sign also. Um, and the best thing I can say is give it a goop look up what aphids look like in your area because they can vary. Um, in our area, we have orange ones, clear ones, white ones, black ones, different sizes. So just look them up so you can get familiar with what they look like. And there's a couple of things you can do. So you need to just be looking at your plants in the spring. You need to be kind of checking on the fresh pitcher growth, looking at the new green leaves, and you can often see the aphids if you look closely, um, or those white skins, or again, the signs of the deformed growth. You can also apply bare three-in-one as a preventative, following the directions on the packaging. And then if you see aphids, then you can apply my trusty friend, Take Down Garden Spray. This is a pyrethrin-based spray, and you just follow the directions on the packaging. I apply it to all my outdoor carnivorous plants, um, and it's really helpful. It really helps knock those aphids back. And in our area, aphids are like a year-long battle most of the time, so I'm very familiar with this war of aphids. Um, and also look for ants. Because another thing that often happens is ants have a relationship with the aphids. So sometimes if you're like really just really working with this aphid problem and you can't seem to knock it, if you notice you have ants in your pots or crawling all around, might, they could be farming those aphids, moving them around, protecting them, and you might want to put some ant traps out to just reduce the population in your actual pots. That's definitely really helpful. They also do it with mealybug, which doesn't happen as much outdoors, but it can be a problem. So again, you gotta really look at your plants. You gotta watch them. You gotta learn their cycles of growth, and you can usually spot those aphids. Um, but my biggest piece of advice on this is don't freak out. So aphids rarely kill all the all of the plants back. They'll just harm the leaves. The leaves will look really rough, and that is so sad because you've been waiting all year or all winter for these plants, right? And then they come up and they're deformed. It's okay. They're just leaves. They're meant to die anyway. These things happen. Bugs would eat them in nature sometimes. It's okay. They're not going to die. As long as you treat for aphids, new leaves will grow. I actually leave those old ones on in the early spring because they can still photosynthesize. I cut those old deformed leaves off after the new pictures have grown in and can start catching um, the bugs. But don't beat yourself up and don't let it knock you back because a big part of growing plants and getting really planty and being a really good gardener is the failures. Honestly, the failures you learn more from than anything else. And it's really important to learn this mindfulness journey of watching your plants, learning their cycles, learning the ecological cycles, especially when you grow them outdoors, and just really understanding their growth cycles. So don't be upset if this happens. It happens to all of us. We've all waged this aphid battle. It's okay. Your plants will be okay. New leaves will grow. The sun will still shine. So don't worry. If you have aphids, you can totally kick their butts. And happy growing and have a good day.